brown. It's like a light, light diarrhea color. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying, reviewing and trying on my face and on my eyeballs everything from Walmart, AliExpress, drugstore, uh, dollar store. I'll test it all myself. I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is one of those videos. I'm testing another palette from Cicala Cosmetics, which is a dupe of Too Faced Clover palette. Thanks to my friends Teresa, who told me which one is a dupe of which. So this is what it's looking like. And we're going to be doing looks, watches, you know, the usual. So you'll see how it looks on my dry AF skin, on my arm, and then on my eyeballs. <laughs> So if you guys are interested to see how I create this look and how this 950, yes, 950 uh, dollars palette uh, performs, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below to know when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this video. So, if you saw my previous video of Cicala Cosmetics uh, Dope Dupe, which is a uh, dupe for Life is a Drug of Lunar Beauty and My Name UA palette, I was really impressed by that palette. It's really good, real pigmented. So, it was time to test the second one. And thank you, Teresa, Teresa Mulhern. She told me which one is a dupe of which. Pretty much, she told me about this one. She was interested in buying the original Too Faced Clover palette, and she said she never got it, which I'm like shocked because she has all the expensive bougie palettes in the world. I'm just kidding, but it seems like it. Anyway, <laughs> this is 950, guys. Uh, we're gonna be doing this look, and let me do the swatches real quick. So this shades have no names. I don't think Cicala Cosmetics have any names, but the original Clover palette, I'm going to insert the image right here so you can see the difference. So this is what we're working with here, and this is Clover. So you'll see it's very similar. I mean, it pretty much looks the same. So I'm not sure which ones are the mattes, which ones are the shimmers, but this one has quite a bit of shimmer shades. So the first row, the white, really bright white. And you'll see it really works well. Well, the swatches never work that well because the skin is dry. I told you, my skin is dry AF. We have hard water in Los Angeles. We have filter for the shower, but I feel like my skin is still dry, even though moisturize. Might be the water. So that's a green one. This is the one that's supposed to be matte, but it kind of has a sheen, which was kind of surprising for me. Now we got the third one, a neutral that I did not use on me because you all know how I feel about neutrals. Neutrals for certain uh, occasions in my life, but not many. <laughs> Here's it is, and then we got another neutral. Brown. It's like a light, light diarrhea color. <laughs> the swatches never perform that well. Again, I think the skin is dry. Uh, next we got still first row. This one is clearly a shimmer, more foiled. Oh, this one is pretty. It's really dark though. So I'm kind of like confused when the shimmers are so dark. I don't like put to put dark shimmers on the main lid. And what else are gonna do with them? So next one is the one I'm wearing a little bit like in the outer corner of my lid. And this is a beautiful, the most beautiful shimmer in the palette. Got turquoise blue, real pretty. Then we got a uh, second row, like a pinkish. And that's another one that has like a sequin from Tati Beauty Feel. It has a little bit of sheen to it. The powdery, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, the powdery. But they perform well. It's like a pinkish. Next one is matte. The movie mat. 
will be nice to use next time at your look so almost like a purplish mauve matte next one is another shimmery shade and this more of a foiled formula oh another pretty one but it's so dark again like I don't want to put dark in my main lid next one is matte and this is a real pretty when I do a warm look with this palette it's gonna be a nice matte to do the warm tone look with got kind of reddish pinkish next one is another foiled it's a pretty shade. Those are really easy to formulate this kind of coppers. I never met a copper or shimmer shade that didn't perform well. <laughs> Usually even cheap palettes come up with those shades. It's really buttery, real soft, real pretty. Then I got the black and I got the black on my eyes of course because I like the depths. I like the depths. I like to have black on the outer corner and this looks very very much like uh, Tati Beauty like I was talking about with a little bit of shine, like a, a sequin. So black is really black, it works well. Next we got another foiled shadow. Very soft, I'm really impressed with their foiled shadows. Look at that. I, I should have used that in my uh, as my highlight, but I used the white. But this is a real nice foiled eyeshadow. Ooh. So see now that I'm doing swatches, now I'm like, hmm, I should have used it. So next one I did use on my low lash line. And this is a dual chrome, like a greenish bluish into the brown. And I, again, as I said before, I have a love and hate relationship with those because they always turn up to look like brown. I tried to build it up and I think I succeeded. It looks more greenish than brown. So that's the dual chrome. And next one is matte brown. Just a regular matte brown. That's for your neutral looks. It's very versatile, I would say. This palette has a lot of variety. Natural uh, matte brown. Then I got another warm tone, the real pretty. I have not used it yet, but it looks nice. I'm running out of the room in my arm. I only have two more left. So that's that one. And then I got the last two, and this one is Fuchsia, more of a foiled. It's not very shiny, but I think it's foiled. I'm going to put it over here. So, yeah, it's pretty. It, like, it looks a little bit like a matte, but it, it's shiny at the same time. Kind of the same thing going on with green. Kind of interesting texture. And then the last one, and the least, not the least, is the yellow, because yellow before well. And yellow is hard to formulate, it's dry, but I have not seen a yellow matte that is not dry. Every expensive uh, palette, which I have a couple now, <laughs> I'm getting so bougie. <laughs> As if. Well, now, I got this yellow, it does not swatch well because my skin is dry, but if you build it with a flat brush, why does it look green on camera? Anyway, if you build this with a flat brush, it looks real nice on my main lid because you can see I really build it up. So that's all of them. The top, the middle, and the bottom row. They all perform nicely. As you can see, I did the uh, cool tone look because my husband told me so. <laughs> I asked him which one, and she says cool tone. Well, I can argue, I love cool tones too. So in the next uh, part of the video, you're going to see me doing this look, and then I'm gonna give you the final thoughts and what I think about this palette. So keep on watching to see what I do with uh, my eyeballs. So since I'm doing two videos in one, I'm doing eyes first. So this is what I came up with. I kind of went with my instinct. My choices were either warm tone look or cool tone look. And this is how I made the decision. I asked my husband, warm or cool? He says cool. That's it, decision made. 
<laughs> if you ask him, he'll pick blue anytime. But I was kind of leaning towards it. So first I'm going for the matte, which is green. This one, the light, light lime green. And I know this is specifically for my good friend Teresa, because I knew if she saw this palette, she would be like green. So we're going for green. And I actually, I'm attracted to that color. The only problem is, it's a little shimmery. You'll see what I mean. It's supposed to be matte, I think. So I'll prime my eyelids, by the way, with a uh, Revlon Candid Concealer. It seems to be very good for priming, thanks to Missa recommending it. So if you can see, this is slightly, slightly shimmery. has a little shin, which, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. Matte should be matte. So now I'm going with uh, a small brush from the same collection from my BoxyCharm review. And this is a very pointy, kind of a firm pencil brush. It does not say on it. No, it does say actually. It does say pencil brush. It's orange. It's really pretty. So I'm going right with the black. And this black has a little shimmer in it too. Just kind of specks of glitter. And I say it for the same reason because mattes are harder to formulate. So all these brands put a little shimmer into mattes to make them perform better. I bet you. And using the same brush that I used first, which is Tempered Blending Brush, Lavish. And I'm going back. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap my brush into black and green, black and green, mix them together, and it works. It creates a transitional shade uh, better than nothing, because really there's nothing bland to blend green fr from black, so it's a very harsh line. So if I mix the two together, it creates easier blend. Okay, so the blending is happening. I'm going to white, which has a little bit of shimmer in it too. And since there is no really, like a really, really light uh, metallic, so I'm just gonna go with this matte with shimmer, a white. And I'm using one of the BoxyCharm brushes that I got in my set. So I'm using a flat Morphe brush because I kind of ran out of brushes from the new set from BoxyCharm. And I'm going to tap into the metallic blue, kind of a turquoise blue, and we're going to start applying this in the outer corner. So when I noticed that, it was kind of making it look, the whole look, very monotone. It's pretty, but I needed something yellow, so I put matte yellow in the inner corner. So we're going to blend the matte and the shimmer together, which kind of seems odd, but it works. It works because I added glitter eyeliner, of course, into the line in the fake cut crease. So all I have to do now is blend out the outer corner with the black. So I'll use the second brush that I use, the pencil brush, and just kind of tap the black into the shimmer shade. Okay, so now we're going into yellow. I'm using the same brush that I use for my brow bone highlight, the angled brow bone brush. I mean brow br brush. <laughs> and I'm going to matte yellow. For some reason, I guess it's a formulation, the difficulty of yellow. Any palette that I have, be it expensive or cheap, has a very flaky, dry yellow. For some reason, all of the yellows are always dry and flaky in the house. So <laughs> I'm going... I'm going to tap it on. It does uh, get pigmented after you really press it. Okay, so going into the dual chrome. I really have a love and hate relationship with dual chromes because this dual chrome right here, it looks brown. Usually they look brown into green or brown into blue and I really don't like brown. And most of the time, when I look at myself, I see brown. <laughs> That's why I don't like dual chromes. But what I noticed is, 
if you pack it, like really pack it, one layer on top of the other, it does look a little more green blue than brown, but on the brush all you see is brown. So this is kind of a smudgy brush. I'm going right into the low lash line. Alright, so the fallout is really bad. <laughs> I'm not even trying to clean up, I'll just clean up before I do my pace. So that's what's happening for now. And I'm going to do the liner now and then I'm going to finish up the face and the full makeup and come back for the final thoughts. So this is not palette related but just to add a little glitter, a little something. So that's Care Beauty, my favorite, in the color Icy. So this is really, really pretty. So it's like a turquoise. It would be nice to match my top I'm wearing the color. So I'll use the brush from the set it came in, this one, and that's the same set from BoxyCharm. Just load it up and go to town. Alright, so I've got the glitter liner and they're both sort of matching. As usual, the eyes come out more or less like uh, sisters, but not twins. Hopefully, it's going to look and come all together when I do uh, my base. So I finished the rest of my base, the rest of my makeup, and this is what it's looking like. Isn't it like fabulous and just shocking how better everything looks after you finish your base? And so much more dramatic. The eyes came like pop. I just love the tongue pops. I'm such a queen at heart. <laughs> but let me zoom in so you can see. It really performs well, and especially when you do the base and you can see everything get closer. Alright, so with a done base, the blendability is great, the pigmentation is great. Um, I can't complain about anything. Uh, compared to a Life is a Drag tube that is a dope tube, I would say it's similar. I, I don't know if I like the other one better just because of the colorful like a rainbow themed uh, and I just like the idea of life of the track but I think it's very comparable quality wise and pigmentation wise I think I will kind of like like life is a drag better than this one but it's just the color theme I think mostly but other than that this is a really great palette uh, I don't know how good it is a dupe of Too Faced because obviously Too Faced quality has got to be better but I mean, look at that. It works. It really, really works. So Too Faced palette is $49. This palette is $9.50 on ccolorcosmetics.com, right, pal? And, I mean, that's a great bargain. It's uh, 6 times 3, 18 shades for $9.50. It can beat that. The quality is pretty darn amazing, if you can tell. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, 1 out of 10. Hmm, let's see. Uh, on a scale of 1 through 10, I would say it's a good 8.5. I'm impressed. I would say Life is a Drag would be a 9 because it's a really good palette. And I'm saying in a range of uh, the similar quality palettes because you can't compare this to a Jeffree Star or a Too Faced or whatever, you know. So it's a good palette. I would highly recommend it. It's pigmented, it blends well. Uh, the only problem I had it with is green, not a problem, but I was expecting it to be strictly matte, but it was slightly shiny. But I mean, it looks nice. I have no problems with it. So, this is what I think about this. The so, Color Cosmetics Fairy Tale 18 Color Eyeshadow Palette is a go for me and I'm going to link the seal color cosmetics website down below in the description box so you can see this is a part of a tin collection tin because I have a few tins of different color schemes this was the most uh, colorful so that's why I picked this one the rest of them were more neutral so you guys into neutrals they also have neutrals of the same the tins so if you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you know uh, when I upload, so YouTube notifies you.
and leave me a comment if you have this palette if you're interested if you heard of Seacal Cosmetics I only heard about them uh, a couple of months ago from another girl uh, in my makeup group and this is a pretty darn good brand of pretty much all of them are dupes of something so so far two palettes that tried my balls they're both great so I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching love you bye